This demonstration is for design conveyor. We will be forming some large conveyor channels, 12 gauge material, 120 by 72 inch sheet. We'll be using the ball transfer tables to slide the material on. In this demonstration, we'll be doing two flanges on each side. You'll see the cycling of the sheet followers, rotation of the part, and then the sliding out of the part. This material is 72 wide, and originally we had discussed this being 48. So if you're going to run this wide of a sheet, a couple things in this demonstration. The material supports do need to be wider, and on the far side, because of the droop of the sheet, it's fairly stiff, but there really needs to be support on the far side. I think that this is a very valid proof of concept, and I hope you guys see uh, what you're looking for in this system integrated with the sheet followers. The gauge just came to its actual position there. I had pushed it up against the gauge and it bumped forward to its proper position. So now I'm ready to form. Now there will be a foot cycle because I have the gauge set right now. Second bend step. At this point, I'm going to retract the gauge so it'll clear the part. This is where the additional support would be needed to the right to make this practical. My next step will bring the gauge forward. As you can see, once the sheet becomes rigid, it is easy to move about. So with additional support on the other end, it would give you complete support. I don't see rotating an issue, um, but the, the material supports do need to be wider, and there needs to be one at the other end for this size material. This is a demonstration of the program without material. It'll explain some of the steps. This is actually a five-step program. In the middle, there's a dead step that just moves the gauge in order to clear it out of the way for the sheet rotation. So there will be a dry cycle in the middle of this program. You'll also notice that on some steps, I, I have put the option in of delaying the back gauge movement. So it will take two pedal cycles in order to actually move the gauge. There are times this is necessary with sheet followers to support the material as the sheet follower lets it back down. You'll see that in the gauge movement. First step brings the gauge in for the bend position. I would put the material against it. This is going to require an additional pedal cycle. Steps to the second position, I would put it up against there.
Now this next step clears the gauge so that I'm free to rotate the material. This is the dry cycle that will cycle through and bring the gauge back in again. Material's up against it. This is the third bend. And the last bend. And that's the complete cycle.